Hey, guys welcome back to our channel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Let's start the video. The mystery surrounding the unsolved murder of hip-hop legend Notorious Bait has been shrouded in controversy and speculation for over two decades. But now Figus' mother Valletta Wallace has come forward to reveal shocking details about her son's death. In a recent interview, she accuses music mogul Diddy of lying and setting up Biggie to be killed. Could this be the key to finally solving the case? And what role did he play in the death of one of the greatest rappers of all time? Let's investigate together. The matriarch of the hip-hop industry Belinda Wallace has come forward with a groundbreaking statement on the 20th anniversary of her only son Biggie Smalls famous as Notorious Big. In an interview with the Daily Mail, she admits she feels hurt every single day knowing that she will never see her son again and that his killer is still at large. In her emotional statement, she said I have a very good idea of who murdered Christopher and I genuinely believe that the LAPD know exactly who they've done their investigation, but they just refuse to move forward. I don't know why they haven't arrested who was involved. It seems to me that it's one giant conspiracy and someone is definitely being protected somewhere down the line. There's no closure for me until that visitor is behind bars and sentenced. Fans are still hopeful and supporting Miss Wallace that Sunday she would be able to reopen this case. I hope this Wallace builds the strength to reopen the case and get the justice she deserves. Not only the star's mother, but his wife Faith Evans has also made some similar claims. Well, even though these claims cannot be made in court, Gene Dill also has similar revelations about the case in point according to him, his frat brother was the one who made Gene Deal's meeting with Miss Wallace possible. Fans expressed that they were shocked when the lending concert was cancelled. I still have my London ticket for 1997. I remember being shocked that the concert was cancelled and that he was going to lie instead another summed up the facts say so let me get this right. Have said Pete wasn't going to London after all the money Clive Davis spent on him there also went there a week earlier than the pub kept him there where he lost his life and wealth. But that is not all after two pack steps. Puppy had already planned for the biggest murder and he had no remorse about it. The revenue revelation of Gene has convinced the fans that he was behind Biggie's untimely demise he for sure put a hit on Pac and Biggie. Their deaths were way too similar and Diddy knew he could take over the Biggie's record label Diddy is a joke, but that is not the worst of it. Dickie's mother was not told anything by the official except if you want to know what happened that night asked Gene Deal and when she asked the bad boy about Gene Huffy, denied seemingly following their agreement. Well, fans agree with Gene's version of the story of that unfortunate night. Puffy did it no doubt why did he leave Cali literally the day after it happened and ditch the rest of his crew? Why did he write separately when he always used to ride with Big? Why was it so important for a Gene to ride with Puffy? You either get it or you'll never work for a bad boy again. Why was the car already parked on the side of the road waiting for Biggie to pull up? And why was it so damn important to be in Cali in the first place? Six months after Pac stepped with barely any security top got some explaining to do and let the story is fired from over G wrote a book to uncover everything that happened that night and how he was connected to it. He also got a publishing contract for it. It's also a well-known fact that when the powers have used them up, the protection goes away. I predict that when someone else comes along, maybe younger with more influence that puppy will be held accountable. That's it for today, folks, until next time, goodbye.